Good morning. Good Tuesday morning. Beautiful day here in Carrizozo, New Mexico. Yeah, just a beautiful clear sky and uh, nice. Uh, outside it is about 62, 63 degrees. High today is going to be in the low 90s again. And uh, but starting about Sunday, this yeah, Sunday, temperatures come down dramatically. Well, about 10 degrees. Well, 8 to 10 degrees. Yeah, which will be nice. But anyway, what else? Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. Right now went right on by, just like you knew it would. And then what else? Uh, never worry about what you can't change. That's a good thing to think of, good thing to practice. And then what else? Just enjoy your life the best way you can because it's the only one you got. But anyway, it is right now, it is 6 a.m. exactly, New Mexico time. And so uh, what have I got for your viewing pleasure today? Well, you're going to get a lot of Red Hill, okay, because I, I was fascinated by that place. I don't know why. I just, I like that little ranch that uh, they had some places for sale, and the prices weren't too bad. And there, There is a property owners association there. I think it's $100. Is it $100 a year or $100 a month? can't remember but anyway they maintain the roads and stuff so and they got a water uh water well there that you can go get water at if you wanted to so yeah if you wanted to kind of uh have a place to go in the summer it might work for you uh this is ytr 8989 never heard of red hill but now i know me either i just happened to see it on the map and i thought well hell, let's go check it out and we did and this is on the tiny home from home depot gary papst Oh, wow. I was literally at this location last Wednesday, 8 14 24, looking at this same shed. The one next to it is, <coughs> is a red one now and currently $18,000. Okay. Well, they had gone up a little bit. Randy Mann, the very large array, is out around Red Hill. Check it out sometime. No, it's, it's way past. Uh, Red Hill. You got to go through Kamado, uh, Daddle. Uh, yeah, it's 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 way past there. Probably sixty miles, at least. You know, but the very large array is interesting. It's a listening post, and they do have tours there occasionally. I'm told. I have never been on one. Van and Halen. What a dry. What with that dry. And that high there in Arizona, it's going to be more like 50 acres per cow calf. It could be. I don't know. It's it's. There's hardly any grass. Uh, Jude Moss. Hey, Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Love your channel. Some friends and myself looked at land exactly where you in the Red Hill, where you in the Red Hill area several years ago for vacation home RV site. You have to go several miles back off the Rain Road. You were on to find land. There were places of acreage from 5 to 20 acres at that time, 2015. There were already places uh, established way in the back. Some had utilities to their home. There was utilities electric available to property if you wanted to pay to get it extended to your property. At that time, the land was around 1,000 acre. Well, it's more than that now. And most people had their water tanks, uh, water delivered quite nice. No, it's a... Uh, says the fire department building was there and it looks like nothing has really changed i'm sure it hadn't but yeah check it if you're interested yeah there you just go out to red hill it's on your way nowhere uh love one another uh it says taking a punt there would be land in catron that is less than two thousand u.s dollars per acre yeah i'm, I'm sure there's some cheap land around in in uh, that area it, it's not much around there that's why Tide fan, beautiful land. You can see forever. Yeah, I got some beautiful views. Pretty private. Uh, this is Steve Woodard. I've lived in Arizona since mid-63, and I'd be hard-pressed to imagine a duller drive than that from Springerville to Sholo while avoiding the nice route through the WMAD Reserve. Next thing, you'll be present. The next, next thing, you'll present the riveting route from Kingman to Las Vegas. I can hardly wait. Well, Stevie, if you're not happy, uh, why don't you uh, find you another channel? 
You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, this is uh, Job 3831. Spraying soap water on the tire will show where the leak is. The leak was the uh, valve stem. You know, they had put a valve stem extension uh, so you could get the thing on it. And uh, it was it wasn't even tightened down. The guy took the wheel off yesterday, and you know put you know checked it for leaks all the way around. And didn't find any, but it it it, did, it was leaking right at the valve stem. He, he found that before he took the tire off, but he said he'd go ahead and check anyway. And uh, yeah, so we got that taken care of. But thank you, yeah, yeah. But if you saw how they had that valve stem on there, you wouldn't be impressed. No, they, 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 never mind. They didn't even tighten it. It was just hanging on there. I'm surprised it didn't go back flat before, but it didn't. Max, are you from Central Texas? Uh, no, I was actually born and raised in uh, South, I guess you'd say Southeast Texas. South, yeah, we're just South Texas. Uh, this is, uh, I can't see if that's an F or, I don't know, Laris Marty, something. Hi, Rusty. Hi. How are you doing today? Larissa, I guess. Marty. Hi. Dogman Chronicles says, good comment call. Thank you. Check his channel out on YouTube. Louis Paparilla, I think ranch road means private road. No, uh, that's a county road. We were good. Curtis Stewart, not a lot of private land in that area. In New Mexico, private landowners cannot keep people from crossing on maintained roads, even if the landowner maintains it. That's interesting. Thank you. And then uh, this is J.N. Mayer, fickle man jumping back over the border uh well i did go across the border but I'm, I'm not buying anything uh this is honest john hey rusty i bought a used 2017 nissan leaf and found out it has no spare tire when i got a flat one one night on the way to work the next morning the AAA truck driver was going to tow me to a tire shop i slipped the driver 20 bucks and he fixed it on the spot that was a great investment yeah and you have to be t careful about towing electric cars. I got to tell you that. I'm E88. What a beautiful place. The silence is deafening. Aloha. Thank you for taking us. Yeah, well, you're going to get some, you get two more doses of Red Hill. <laughs> you you got to get a good dose of it. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> HOG1. Uh oh, Rusty's looking for property. No, I'm not. I, I just wanted to look at it. That's for sure. I just thought I'd check it out. But uh, no, it, it is pretty and it's about 7,000 feet or so. Somebody said it was 7,500 feet, but it was nice there. I mean, I, I thought it was, yeah. And as far as, you know, you'd, it, to do it, you'd have to, uh, you'd, you'd have to have solar for sure. As far as getting power brought in, I really didn't see any close to the property I liked. Uh, James Jackson here, get it on, whatever. Uh, Jim Boer. Good afternoon, Rusty and Rangers. The weather seems to be cooling off sooner than later. A low of 47 degrees tonight here in Coldwater, Michigan. That's why they got it, named it Cold Water. I mean, <laughs> yeah, anyway, thanks. Uh, this is uh, Joe Smith. That's an easy name. Houston, Texas has no zoning and never has. I didn't know that. Same person, Joe Smith. I would have a deep basement and a trap door to the basement. All right, that's fine. Francis Ebicky, good to see greater, Metro Me greater metropolitan Red Hill, New Mexico. I don't think I will retire there. Well, there's not a lot of shopping there. Not a lot of shopping. Uh, Caver, cave redecorator, I guess. Alexa says Red Hill is at 7,546 feet above sea level. Yeah, probably correct. I, I don't know. I uh, I just guessed because uh, Springerville is 7,000. I didn't feel like I climbed much. Uh, anyway, Cheeseburger Gamer, catchy name. Well, how about, oh, this is more than one equal two or three. One or a few equals whatever. Several, nobody knows. Yeah, it just depends. It, but those are just words, but always take several if you can get them over a few. Follow Jesus. Good good day, Rusty. Enjoying videos as always, my friend. Happy you are home now. Yippee. May your day be good and you see you on the next video. Yeah, thank you, Angela. 
This is uh, Casey Lewis. Yes, I have. He's heard of Red Hill. Always wanted to stay there for a weekend. Yeah, you got to get your reservations way in advance at the motel. James Ortiz says, uh, interesting geological features in that area. Thanks for the nice drive video, Rusty. Yeah, well, you know, those, I, I like those. I like that area, actually. I mean, you know, and Camado is not bad. I stopped in Camado on the way back and got me a soda water, and I was going to get me a breakfast taco, but they only had breakfast burritos, and they were $8, and they were huge. So I waited till I got to uh, uh, Daddle Well, and uh, they had a they have a cafe there in that town, and uh, the, but at the gas station they also sell uh, breakfast uh, burritos that are like three bucks, <clears throat> or excuse me, it might have been five bucks, but it was it was a good one. It was all right. Had a lot of stuff. <clears throat> uh, Chris Allison at a, around seven, uh, around seven, and a couple is two, and a few is anywhere three to six. Okay, well, whatever, different, whatever you think. Uh, this is Dave Jones. He says, ever heard of Red Hill? And he says, no. I hadn't either. Uh, JMN, Rusty, you think mice could easily get into a casita when storing it? Uh, I doubt it because it's got a uh, uh, solid foundation uh, under the bottom. It's all fiberglass. I, it would be, I don't know of any openings under there that they could get in. You know, so and 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 if unless you have something stored in there that they can smell, they're usually not going to bother you. But 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 you might put some of that peppermint spray outside or around it in the bottom, and it might help. I don't know. I, it seems to help here. I haven't been bothered. Knock on wood by mice. Harley Glide. Good late morning to all Rangers. Ranger Harley reporting for duty. It is absolutely fall like in my Carolina mountains. Sixty six comfortable degrees. For my pre-dawn walk this morning, uh-oh, if Rusty is looking, he's thinking, oh boy, yeah, well, I'm looking. You know, it's the same here, the same temperature. It's about 62 to 64 in the mornings here, and uh, yeah, quite nice for walking, yeah, the, and uh, it doesn't warm up. It doesn't get uncomfortable till uh, after lunch, around 1 or 2, and then it, in the 90s. Yeah, but not for long, 3 or 4 hours, and then it cools down. D. Williams, super moon, a blue moon. Yeah, it was for a couple of nights there. D. Williams says, valve stem, you are absolutely correct. That's what it was. But I, what's the reason I didn't think it was the valve stem is because I checked the tire before I left Springerville, all the tires, and fine. I drove from there all the way to, a, the, my well, my first stop was, uh, my first real stop was in Daddle Well, and I checked tires again. All of them looked good. And then I drive from uh, there to Carrizozo to the gas station. And uh, at the gas station in Carrizozo, when I was putting gas in, I noticed that that left rear wheel tire, rather, was low, but not flat. It was just low. And I thought, well, I'll check it when I get home. I got home, and it's flat. <clears throat> That's weird, man. I guess it just worked itself loose somehow. Anyway, Alvin Masso, Rusty, have a wonderful day. You too. Uh, we'll do two more and we'll shut her down here. This is Levi Brewer. Good morning, everyone, from my outlaw camp. Putting water seal on today. Have to go to Ruidoso tomorrow to get gutter stuff and white coat. Good for you, Levi. Give, get it done, boy. Get her done. This is uh, Elk, elk Bow, 9.1% as of 8 24 and still letting it out. Well, the, when I did that video at Elephant Butte, it was 24% full. So th that's a big drop. Yeah, but the Rio Grande River in uh, San Antonio, New Mexico, they have a bridge there for the river, and there's no water there at all, zero. And that flows right on down the road to Elephant Butte, so they're not getting anything from the Rio Grande, I guarantee you. But anyway, guys, from Carrizozo, New Mexico, on a Tuesday morning, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Yeah, it doesn't cost you a penny. Just go to Amazon and get what you want. And then what else? Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts. Very good. Uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. Relieve stress, lowers blood pressure. Do that several times a day. Stretch. Swivel. 
Walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier. Good thing to do. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next video. Anyway, carry on. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.